Hey, hey, you're dying. Hey, you're talking to me. What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm eating a marker, boy. What's up there, Bubba? Hey, boy. What are you doing, Stinky? Hey there, Stinky number two. Or are you Stinky number one? You're Stinky number one. All right. Here's. I'm gonna get this out of my hair so I don't look so freaking goofy. Whew. I'm dizzy. Trixie, I'm dizzy. Oh, let's just lay on the floor. Oh. <sighs> Week three is done. It's still hard. I'm bringing the intensity though. Barely any to no rest. 30 minutes can seem like a long time, but it goes pretty quick. Come here, guys. What's up? What's up, stinky butts? Hey. Hi, girl. Hello. Hello. Wow. I'm sweaty and gross, huh? What's up, buddy? What's up, Mr. Ernie? Oh, you gonna come lick me? You gonna come lick the sweat off of me? Oh, thanks for the kisses, buddy. Thanks for the kisses, boy. Yeah, thanks for the kisses. <sighs> okay, that's kind of weird now. You can stop licking me. Okay, okay. Thanks, bud. Thanks for the kisses. <laughs> What's up, Trixie girl? So, I can never catch my breath here. Okay. I want to answer some questions that everybody asks me eight million times on Instagram when I post a picture of my dogs. You guys want to go flying? You trying to fly my drone, Trixie? Yeah, you want to fly, huh? You say, get this thing out. Let's fly it, Dad. Come on. We know that thing's pretty cool. Let's bust it out so I can bark at it. If any of you have watched my YouTube from way back in the day when I just posted random stuff, um, I have a video somewhere on my channel of like this little uh, helicopter thing I have, like a little tiny one flying around uh, here in, in my place and uh, Trixie just goes crazy for it. So with the Phantom, the only time I ever started up inside is with the props off of it. Um, I did actually start it up once but it was up on my studio desk where I couldn't get them just to uh, when I was testing everything out make sure it was good to go before I actually flew it. Um, but Trixie goes crazy for stuff like that so I would never fly my Phantom in here. It's way too dangerous and it would it would hurt them. So I uh, don't want to do that. But anyway to answer some questions about Trixie and Ernie. First of all, what kind of dogs are Trixie and Ernie? Trixie is a mini pincher and Bashan Freeze mix. Um, she's She looks like a mini pin, but she's long haired. So I have to give her haircuts. I do it myself. Um, if I don't give her a haircut, her hair will just grow and she'll get very scruffy and, and she'll grow a big old beard and hair will be in her eyes and so I always keep her hair pretty short. Um, so Trixie is a mini pin Bashan. Ernie is purebred Boston Terrier. How old are my dogs and how long have I had them? Trixie turned seven in June. Let's see I got Trixie in August 2008 and I got her when she was seven weeks old. I don't know her exact date of birth, but it had to be about the end of June. Um, end of June-ish, yeah, uh, 2008. So I've had Trixie since August 2008. Little old Steve Piggs. Hey, Chongo, buddy. You trying to build stuff? What, you think we should make something out of that leftover wood? Uh -huh. Yeah, you're a construction dog. Are you a construction boy? You are the craziest boy in the world. Ernie uh, turned one year old in February, on February 8th. He was born February 8th, 2014. Is that right? Yes. February 8th, 2014, Ernie was born I got Ernie on March 31st, 2014, so I have had him since then. Uh, so 
hopefully that answers some questions about my dogs. You guys are so sleepy. Are you so sleepy, Bubba? You guys cold? I got the AC rocking in here. Ugh. Oh, Trixie girl. So, I'm here in my studio. It's the same day that I filmed the thing the other day. Uh oh, I better turn this guy off. I've got the... I, I'm pretty sure I have major ADD when it comes to me videoing stuff. Um, but if you guys are wondering what my studio setup is, uh, the main thing I use for my audio interface is I have a Universal Audio Apollo Quad, um, this guy right here. And that has eight preamps in it. Well, it has four preamps that I can, four mic pre's, has eight inputs. So the other four I can, you know, do stuff like I've got uh, Universal Audio LA610 MK2, which I use for vocal stuff. I've also got a Blackline Audio B173, which is rad. You can also use that for, that, that's like a, a Neve clone. Um, you could use that for, you know, you, plug DI's in there, you can record guitar DI's, bass DI's, you can record vocals through that. That's just a mic pre, so I'll run those into the other channels. Um, they're a little bit cleaner sounding than, per se, the mic pre's on this guy. But, these mic pre's are really, really great. Um, for my mix bus, when I mix stuff, um, a lot of people, like, you know, there's the, uh, the Waves SSL comp. And uh, that's great, it's a great plugin. If you're not using a master bus compressor on your mix bus, you need to, you need to learn how to do that, anybody who records. Um, I got the old analog G bus compressor. The Solid State Logic SSO, come on, focus, bastard. There we go. Uh, that thing uh, is sweet. It was expensive. This kind of bums me out. One of my, my light went out on the input when I put it in, but it doesn't affect it from not working. And that one is weird. That one's got a uh, delay turning off. That one works. Anyway, it's just a light bulb that I could probably open up and put the LED back in there, but I don't really care. The thing works, sounds great. This whole rattling AC unit, um, I finally got that old junker out of here because that thing died and uh, I bought this new AC and I had the the unit for gosh I must have had it for six seven eight months probably and it was just sitting here just sitting in here on the ground because the old one that was in there I just never I first of all I had to move my entire desk here and I was too lazy to do that second I had to you know, figure out how to get the thing out. There's a big metal box that's like mounted into the wall. So, um, I actually had to pull the thing in this way and then haul it out through the front door. And I think the thing must have been fucking 80,000 years old. I mean, it looked like it was from the 1950s. And, uh, I had my buddy Mario help me pull the thing out. I, I, I had to get a crowbar and, you know, jam all the, uh, the sealer stuff out of it. And I started wedging it out. I mean, it was hard. I, I swear, I'm not even kidding you. We both pulled this thing out. And, it, I mean, it was so heavy, like, it dropped to the floor. And we literally had to, I can't talk, literally had to, like, tire flip it out of here. We had to, you know, just roll it and flip it. And it left this trail of just the grossest, grimy, just dirt and dust and just junk from I don't know how many years that it has collected. Anyway, got it out, vacuumed it all, cleaned it up, put the new one in there, and then I got, um, I still have it sitting on my counter. I got, I went to Home Depot and, you know, I got the stuff before I was prepared. I got the insulator foam, uh, insulated the thing out, and then I built... The frame around it i haven't painted it yet because i'm lazy but i just cut 
I went to Home Depot, grabbed some, you know, just, I think this is like poplar. It's nicer wood, but then I just grabbed, I had this left over from something. And then uh, I just grabbed some cheap pine and did some measurements, cut that, nailed it together with my nail gun. And I didn't even attach it to the wall. It's actually just sitting on top of it. It just somehow fit perfectly. So I can't actually remove that. So it worked out. I don't have to actually attach it to the wall. So I can just uh, take it off and paint it if I ever feel like getting around to doing that. I don't, I don't know. Um, oh. Um, so in my other video when I was showing you, the, the first time I was making barbacoa, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I got a package today in the mail. So remember I said I, I all my knives are really dull. Ugh. My knives don't work. Well, I went on a search online for good knives. And, you know, the Japanese style knives for like, you know, just Japanese style knives are expensive. Uh, one of my buddies, David, um, likes to like, he's into cooking and stuff. He lives in the UK and he told me about these uh, knives, global, um, little pricey for, for my taste when it comes to knives because I'm not some master chef like he is. Um, but I'm, I'm getting better. I am, you know, I'm, I have to get better because I have to find ways to make healthy eating taste good because it just gets disgusting otherwise. You just get bored way too quick. Um, anyway, I got these guys. I think they're pretty good. They're cheaper than the global ones, but uh, they are, what is it? Zen? High carbon Japanese steel. And uh, I, I just got the two. I got the big chef knife and then the smaller one. But um, let me tell you, that feels pretty, pretty damn sharp. So I'm sure I'll be testing those out soon. And one thing with knives is they do go dull. So I prepared in advance and I ordered a knife sharpener specifically for that style of knife as well, but that is not here yet. But I won't need that yet. That'll be here in a couple days. Um, anyway, I am going to get, I should probably, I don't know, maybe make myself look a little bit more presentable for this video I'm about to shoot. I'm going to uh, do my video filming stuff and then I've got to get on to working, 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 nonstop, always working. Um, I really just want to relax today, man. Ugh. I got to get some stuff done though, then maybe I can relax. Um, I've got Madden 16 for Xbox One. So if any of you guys play Xbox One, my gamer tag is Jake Vale Pitts. Do not message me on Xbox though, because I won't read it. I don't read my messages. Don't, you know, if I, I, I literally don't really play it very often. Um, I, I just started playing Call of Duty again, like online. I, I don't actually play the game, I just play multiplayer. And uh, I played, I played a little bit the past couple weeks, but not very much. Um, I've got Advanced Warfare. I always get the new one and play the new one. So um, I, I've got Ghost, you know, I, I've been playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 3 on 360. and. Uh, I still think to this day that Modern Warfare 3 was the best Call of Duty. I don't know about the ones before that. I, I think I did play Black Ops 1 for like a week. But then I saw that Modern Warfare 3 was out and I that's when I bought my Xbox 360. And uh, so I haven't, you know, I had a PS2 back in the day. And then I didn't have a game console for a long time. And then, uh, then I got the 360 when Modern Warfare 3 was out, and I actually had the Modern Warfare 3 bundle thing, and I actually sold that. Um, somebody, I don't know who got it, but I, I sold that on eBay. And uh, I actually have a another Xbox 360 in here. Just me, buddy, just me. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's in here. It's in a dark hole. It's like a four gig one. I literally got that so I could 
like have Netflix in my studio going. And honestly, I just no, <laughs> I don't. That was that's not a good idea uh, to have like a show going on when you're trying to work because you're just going to watch a show. Um, and, unless it's something else like, you know, I, I don't have cable TV. I don't have direct TV or anything like that. Uh, I was actually looking into getting it, but I just, I don't see what the point is. I just don't have time uh, to watch TV as it is. Um, you know, I might put Netflix on at night and watch some shows on there. And I, I really like the original series on Netflix. So, Narcos. Damn. If you guys haven't watched Narcos yet, whew, you're missing out. You got to watch Narcos. Um, such a good show. I blasted through that so quick. Um, and I was so bummed when I watched the last episode. So uh, can't wait for more of that. Daredevil, I'm waiting on that new ep uh, new season. Uh, definitely stoked on Daredevil. That's a cool show too. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I've been playing Madden 16. And... Uh, I'm not like the best at it, but I'm getting better. Um, and it's really cool because they have like the ultimate team thing now and like draft champions and all stuff. So I just actually got into this like a couple nights ago. And, uh, I, you know, I would play online. I was playing against people and I was doing pretty good or whatever, just playing the game with the regular players or whatever. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to actually check out the game and see what's going on. And then I, I went into like the ultimate team mode and started, you know, a did my team you did my draft or whatever and and my team's like I, I think I just got my overall stats are at 71 so my team's not very good and uh, I mean I really don't have like the best team but I'm seeing I seem to be doing okay I, I've been doing a bunch of the solo challenge and stuff getting coins up I'm trying to get those packs uh, to get better players but I'm saving up for the one that's like 35,000 coins I think I have like 17,000 right now or something so I just kind of started it um, and then I did my first, or actually I've done two. Uh, I, I didn't know you could play other people online in this mode against their team. So I was like, oh, this is actually really cool. Like you can do seasons and there's playoffs and stuff against other real people. So I was like, that's pretty rad. I really, really like that. And um, so I started that. I'm 2-0 and right now with my team. 2-0. and It was funny. I was playing a game last night actually. And I, my, my, uh, I, my jersey it right now is the 49ers. I'm not really sure what picked that, but I like the 49ers. Um, so I'm not the actual 49ers. I have players from all. It, basically, the ultimate team is you get it, your players are from all different teams. It's you're, you you want to try to get the best players, and you earn coins, and then you can you, you know, buy these packs that unlock players, and you might get you know you never know who you're gonna get. Um, and they even have like old historical players like John Elway. And I, I did the draft uh, draft champions. Uh, I, I won two games and I lost a third, so I didn't get like the trophy or or whatever it was. But I had John Elway in my draft. And man, he's good in the game. It was so cool. Like I never really liked the Denver Broncos, um, and that was mainly just because I grew up with my dad hating the Denver Broncos, so I automatically hated them too. Um, but uh, John Elway, he was a great quarterback, and uh, in the game, he's phenomenal. Really, really good. Um, so that was kind of cool. I, the players that I want, I don't know if they're in Madden 16. Maybe, maybe any of you guys who play it might know. My all-time favorite player was Deion Sanders. If I could get Deion Sanders, uh, Jerry Rice, Bo Jackson, Steve Young, or Joe Montana, that would be like my ultimate team. And Reggie White. That would be like my ultimate team. Barry Sanders would be sick too. Um, that was like... I, I grew up watching football in that era, like, you know, early 90s. Um, you know, that, that was when I was watching football with all those guys. Michael Irvin, Troy Aikman, man. Uh, <laughs> I used to be a huge Dallas Cowboys fan when I was young. Um, Deion Sanders, Larry Brown. Uh, anyway, <sighs> just rambling. But... It, so I guess my point here is if you guys have Madden 16 for Xbox One, uh, maybe we could play a game or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to get to work, though. i got to do shit, so I don't know. We'll film some other stuff later or something. Blah, 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 blah.